What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate and we are back with another top 10 crazy After Effects techniques video. Now, if this is your first time watching, pretty much this is a series where we talk about some of the craziest, dopest After Effects techniques coming out from the community to hopefully try and take some inspiration into projects of our own. Today's episode also features a super special offer from our sponsors, but more details on that at the end of this video. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. I got the phone here. Chriselle has pulled up the top 10 crazy techniques that you guys have been sending in, whether it's work that you have created at home, at your desk, or it's something that you saw online. We're gonna be talking about it. We're gonna try and break it down. All right, let's go. Yo, okay, this is from RK Ravi. So I gotta applaud you for using the song Dragon Ball Do-Rag. It's a favorite of ours. I'm fully invested in these dance moves of pop locking and stopping. This loading effect is a really creative way to make a dance edit just all of a sudden have like a nice little twist on reality. The camera moves around so it looks like I can tell though that this was motion track and then maybe just using like a rotoscope of the frame, the shoes down there, they don't quite match up with the floor there at the bottom. So that kind of gives us a hint into how this effect was made. But then he completes the scene on the other side as well dancing. So I wonder if this is two different shots of him dancing. Either way, super, super cool. Love it a lot, RK Ravi. Hope to see more. All right, on to the next one. Level one. I'm the big boss, flexing, cut your wrist off. Itching when these ticks talk. You go keep that hoe, she make my. Yo, okay, so next up we have one from Sketchy Biz. Give me bank roll, still a big no. I got big goals, I need control. This one is so sick. I know that we've gone over clone effects on this channel. I feel like I got a soft spot for clone effects ever since watching Naruto. Final level. I'm the big boss, flexing, cut your wrist off. Itching when these ticks talk. You go keep that hoe, she make my soft. Give me bank roll, still a big no. I got big goals. Control. By far, I gotta say that this one has to be one of my favorites. Not only does he use After Effects' rotor brush to make this effect, but he also managed to create an at-home DIY motorized camera rig with 3D printed parts for some reason. Dude, what the f***? How did you do this? What? <laughs> <laughs> he wrote some custom G code that pulls a skateboard in at certain speeds. Dude, okay, you went above and beyond for this effect at home. Like, I've seen people make DIY camera equipment before from tripods to steady cams, but a DIY automated skateboard pulley camera rig is insane. And the fact that you're able to do this and then composite it in with After Effects and use Rotor Brush too in this really nice phone transition at the end. Super, super dope work, Sketchy Biz. Huge, huge props. Love it a lot. Hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Yo, okay, so this next one made me smile when I saw it because when I first talked about EB Synth, I was not sure where the community was gonna take it. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Using AI and style transfers to create some really dope effects. A year ago, I think when we first mentioned it, there was probably only a few videos online even talking about it at all. Things were still at the very early rough, just kind of experimental stages. So anyway, Skirt to Pones was able to use EB Synth and After Effects to turn himself into a caveman. If you look at the behind the scenes, it's actually kind of funny because it looks like he's just wearing like this green cloth and a super like janky homemade DIY prop suit and yet using EB Synth, he's probably able to take one frame or a few frames of a stylized caveman and then apply that style onto himself. So really, really awesome work because it came out looking really seamless. And I gotta say that that subtle detail of the flies in the background and the compositing that you did there, huge, huge props, man. That's, that's super sick. So if you guys are interested in using EB Synth and After Effects, we have a tutorial here on the channel. I've used it for stuff like making myself look, you know, 50 years older. I, I made James Charles for 50 years older too. All kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, and not only that, but you guys, EB Synth is a free software, so who doesn't like free shit? Really dope words, go to perns. I hope to see more of it. All right, on to the next one. 
Okay, so this next one is from Wells Fuego, which kudos for a pretty cool name that you got there, Wells Fuego. It's fire. He says, time a typography motion design exercise. Off the bat, I gotta say this intro with the time, the way the, the circle is coming out there, that looks super clean. I love the way that you're doing your curves on the animation. I gotta say, I love the colors. I love the way that you're doing this transition from the clock into what looks like a T for a timeline. Then you have the timeline growing out. This is really dope. Also, really, really nice use of those subtle textures I see there. It's just something that if you guys are getting into motion graphics for the first time. It's one thing to make your animation look really nice and tween all of your curves and things like that. But it's another thing to add textures onto your animation, especially something like, looks like maybe a subtle noise effect. And then he even has this glow and this fake 3D lighting going on. This is, this is really cool. All these subtle things are just gonna make that animation pop that much more. Dope, dope work, Wells Fuego. I love your motion graphics. And for a typography based motion design exercise, I gotta say you killed it. I hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is from Holston. Yo, okay, this looks so cool. A pretty cool animation of a gorilla drinking soda. I'm wondering how much of this is hand drawn, how much of this is After Effects shape layers, because this is looking super fluid and I know getting fluid animations like this with just shape layers is really difficult. So I wonder, is there a breakdown of this? Oh, yo, okay, holy shoot. Okay, thanks a lot Holstrin for also posting a breakdown. I just love it whenever a dope VFX artist and animator also includes their process. So it kind of shows the magic to the rest of us. Dang, it looks like a lot of this was done with Adobe Illustrator, which huge, huge props for being able to do that just because I know how how difficult it is working with vectors and oh my goodness all the like different paths I'm sure if you guys are curious about how to get into After Effects and 2d animation I would say Adobe Illustrator is one of those softwares that works hand in hand with After Effects when it comes to building out these comps and having shape layers that you can animate so he even breaks down some of the cool techniques to make this animation look a little bit more fluid and that is adding a turbulent display so that's gonna give us a little bit of that like hand-drawn wobbliness around the edges and then he added a texture there as well so that kind of keeps that feeling as though it's not like fully done in a computer, but actually done by hand. Just adding those textures is a super nice touch. Oh shoot, and then for the liquid, it looks like also a shape layer with, is that a turbulence displace? Maybe like a CC particle world. Dang, okay, yeah, this is really, really sick. I'm assuming just to get the animation looking like it's on the building and not just flat, he's adding what I'm probably assuming is a blending mode of like multiply. That's gonna make the colors of the animation kind of imprinted onto the background. Super, super dope work, Holstrin. I love it a lot. Hope to see more of your work. All right, on to the next one. Okay, next up we have one from P Labs. P Labs brings us a peek into his After Effects composition for a time lapse of LA. Yo, are you guys seeing this? Oh my goodness. Off the bat, I gotta give P-Labs a whole bunch of props for coming up with a really cool use of handy seamless transitions. I don't know if you guys can tell from the composition, but that's what that HST I'm seeing in between those cuts stands for. And handy seamless transitions is actually a pack that you can find on Envato. It's one of the most popular ones that I've seen actually used by YouTubers for all kinds of stuff like intros and music videos. In this case, it looks like P-Labs is using it to create a super seamless time lapse of LA. And he's got the skateboarders, holy shit, yo, this is really cool. <laughs> I gotta say the subtle touches of rotoscoping out those buildings and actually like compositing them in 3D space with this galaxy effect and adding the moon in there. These are all subtle details that just make your time-lapse stand out and just look so, so clean. Oh wait, holy shit, yo, he's got the wings in there.
really, really nice cutting. Holy shit, dude, this section with the stars, yo, that is well done. Yo, the cars part. Do you guys see this freaking part with the cars? And honestly, it looks like a lot of this is just cutting and actually timing this out really well. This is insane. I wonder how many time lapses, like, like how long did it take you to film all these time lapses? It just goes on and on and on. Oh my goodness, a whole lot of effort goes into these time lapses, man. Dope work, hope to see more, on to the next one. Okay, so if you guys are watching this and wondering where you can get all of these super cool plugins that I mentioned, we have a special landing page with Envato where you can get it. There's gonna be links down below in the description. Now, if you guys have not heard of Envato Elements before, it's my favorite resource for creatives. And hey, if it's not for you, maybe you have a special video editor in your life that you wanna get something special for this holiday season. Guess what? We're gonna be having all the dopest plugins that I'm sure that they're gonna enjoy. Just make sure that they haven't already bought them before. You know, you don't wanna end up buying the same gift. I guess. Honestly, changed the game for me when I was using After Effects. They're time-saving, super powerful, come from dope developers, all kinds of assets from graphic resources to After Effects templates to even stock footage. So go ahead, check that out. The inner creative in you will just have fun going wild with it. If you guys wanna be able to buy them, we now have all in a dedicated page. So super thanks to Envato for helping us set that up and getting out some cool resources for you guys. Okay, so this next one made me smile when I saw it. We have a really cute one from Digital Nomadness. You guys gotta watch this. Roll clip. <laughs> Yo, this is so cute. It's kind of like, it gives me a uh, Ted vibes. The setup for this was actually super clever. So pretty much Digital Nomadness was able to sit next to this bear and literally be a human puppeteer for it and then rotoscope out the bear with Roto Brush 2, which is pretty insane that After Effects can even do this nowadays. Holy shit. he even says the shot only took him about one minute. Really, really impressed with how the effect came out and how simple of an execution it was. Huge thanks to Digital Nomadness for, I'm sure, inspiring a whole bunch of super cute projects that are gonna come out of this. I know for sure I'm gonna try this. Anyways, dope work, hope to see more. On to the next one. Okay, so this next one was made by Yoram Van Der Wettering, which I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Yoram actually says that he is only 15 years old, by the way, and he made this really dope 3D track, the motion graphics, PlayStation controller shot. Now, we've talked about this effect plenty times on the channel. It's probably one of the most popular ones that I've seen, at least on Instagram and social media, where a lot of people will take a pretty common household object and then all of a sudden add in these really nice glowing UI elements or whatever motion graphics that they want to add on to it in post that's also tracked in 3D. It's just a cool way to make something that's kind of everyday a little bit cooler with the magic of VFX. So this effect also is not one of the easiest because it combines multiple elements such as animation, compositing, and tracking all into one effect. So it's really impressive to see that Yoram being 15 years old is at it with the VFX and is yeah straight killing it when it comes to this effect. Already reminds me of a mini Edward OV. I love this a lot and for all of those who are out there and super young and doing After Effects, want you guys to keep on at it because I've seen so many dope work coming out from people who are 15 years old like Yoram to even 12 years old. And we featured young artists on the channel before. It's always super inspiring to see what you guys are coming up with. Anyways, let's get back to the list. Hope to see more of your work, man. On to the next one. Black is. Okay, so next up we have a super dope motion graphics piece from Fine Deer. You know we weren't always slaves, right? Our heritage has kingdoms, kings, and queens. But when I was young, I struggled with identity. Fine Deer was asked by Accenture UK to create a film based on their employees' perception slash reality on what black is to them. What does it mean to be black? I found myself painting the caricatures on my face like the minstrels. Is this what I need to do to fit in? 
that I thought this piece was really great at communicating ideas with motion graphics. I really love the rhythmic and expressive motion graphics that you got going on here. From the perspective of Abu Demi Agumbawale Thomas, I'm sorry man for butchering your name. Anyways, this motion graphics piece has a whole bunch of dope styles, a lot of creative ways to represent the story. I love the use of textures as well, and the way that you present his ancestry, the use of photography, collaging, rotoscoping, and this choppy 2D, maybe like six frames, 12 frames per second animation style is really dope. All these cool textures going on. Not only that, but it has a pretty cool introspective look on what it means to be black. I loved it a lot, and I hope to see more of your work. That remind us that it's okay to be you. Black is the beautiful struggle to be me, free. And if not for me, then for my beautiful young son, who arrived at 28 weeks. Peace. Okay, so this last crazy technique actually isn't so much of a technique as it is a really useful tool for learning, and that is Skillshare. If you guys haven't heard of Skillshare, they're an online learning community with a whole bunch of classes for creatives, ranging from calligraphy and hand lettering to motion design and After Effects. I've been recently checking out Skillshare, and so far I find it really cool that I can see creatives not only being able to explore new skills, but really hone in on the subjects that they're passionate about. So far, I've been enjoying the ultimate guide to 3D and After Effects from fellow motion designer Jake Bartlett. So 3D has been one of those really tricky After Effects techniques to fully understand. And I love how Jake Bartlett brings the energy and extensively breaks down the software. I will warn though, Skillshare is not entirely free like watching a tutorial here on YouTube. So it's about $10 a month, but no need to worry because Skillshare was generous enough to offer you guys a free trial of their premium membership to check them out. And who doesn't like free shit? Anyways, if you're interested, make sure to check that description because the first 1,000 people to click that link are gonna be able to get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership. Okay, so that is it for the list. Now, I'm sure you guys are probably sitting at home feeling inspired and you probably have some sort of super dope work that you want us to feature on the channel. Well, you know what? You guys might have a chance to get featured. All you gotta do is hit us up on Instagram. Be sure to follow us. We'll be posting all sorts of updates. We do a feature Friday every Friday where we showcase all kinds of super dope work aside from the ones that we showcase on this channel. Do us a huge favor and smash that like button. It only takes a second and yet does a tremendous amount in supporting the channel. While you're at it, if you also wanna keep up to date on all the super cool videos that we have planned make sure that you also hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out thanks to everyone who has been subscribing commenting liking engaging you guys are the reason why we're able to keep this community going the reason why we make these videos it's a huge honor to be sitting at almost 150,000 subscribers so my mind's freaking blown honestly by the time this video comes out we might even be at 150,000 subscribers so an early thanks to you all for being the best <laughs> Anyways, as always, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, and congrats to all the winners of our last giveaway. We announced that on the Instagram. So if this is completely new news to you guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram to stay in the loop for all the stuff that's not going on here on the channel, like giveaways, showcases, and our intimate personal secrets. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.